So I recently did a video on a Ram 2500 and it's gonna be, a, it was actually the exact same truck as this one. The only difference is this truck has a sunroof. Oh yeah, by the way, it also has a Cummins diesel too. I'm gonna show you guys what the payload is and show you around this truck. So what I have here is a 2018 Ram 2500 limited crew cab 4x4. Base price on this truck is going to be $57,795. Here are your standard features. So I'm not going to spend too much time going over all the, the, limited, op, the, the limited package here because it's pretty much the same as the other truck that I just recently did. The only difference between this truck and the other truck is that this truck has a has the diesel Cummins motor and that this truck has a sunroof. The other truck had a chrome package and it had the auxiliary buttons. I believe that's the only things that I can see here that are different. So as you can see, this truck is $75,590. That's with the diesel engine. So as you can see, the interior is gonna be pretty much the exact same for the limited. I'm sitting in the back seat here. You have that nice trim on the steering wheel, leather wrap, everything. This is the upgraded leather interior for the limited package. And as you can see, you don't have those auxiliary buttons at the bottom there. You have your heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, as opposed to having the auxiliary buttons down there. Now this truck does have a diesel exhaust brake, so th that's listed there too. Of course, a gas motor is not gonna have that. But as you can see, they're pretty much the identical trucks with this to the exception of the auxiliaries and the sunroof. I wanted to point out too, I didn't do this in the last video, when you do opt for the Limited or the Lambie Longhorn, which is a step below this one, they do give you a nicer accented speedometer. They give you these accents around the, the miles per hour and the RPMs, and just around your, your gauges too. So from my previous video, the first thing you'll notice is that you have the painted front bumpers. You're also gonna have painted running boards too. These are not the wheel-to-wheel -wheel running boards, but this truck still does have the off-road package, so you're gonna have the Billistine shocks. That's on the front there. Same suspension setup. You're gonna have you're gonna have coils in the rear. And you also have the Billistine shocks there. And just to give you a nicer look at these wheels. Really nice design for the wheels. And here's the back of the tailgate, as you can see. On the previous truck, the, the RAM was actually chrome, but on this truck, it's blacked out. I actually like this one a lot better, too. It looks just a little bit more meaner. Here's your rear camera. And again, pretty much the same thing that you see back here. You have your LED lights on each side. And this truck was optioned to have this cargo LED light with the camera up top. And again, this truck has the RAM box like the other one. So, painted rear bumper. Let me see if this is open. And as you can see, here's your rim box. Pretty much the same thing on, the, on both sides. I'm not gonna really spend too much time on that. I'm gonna back up and just show you what it looks like. And here's what you have on the other side. Like the gas ball that I did, this truck does not have the tow mirrors. So for this truck, you're gonna have a 6,000 pound axle in the front. As you, if you watched my last video on the gas motor, it has a 5,500. And then the rear is gonna stay the same at 6,500 gross axle weight rating in the rear. 10,000 pound is gonna be your gross vehicle weight for, the, for any 2,500 truck that, that Ram makes. And you're gonna have a payload of this truck at 1,878 pounds. So as you can see, the payload does go down just, just about a thousand pounds. I think it was uh, $27.95 on the gas motor. The only difference is between, between these trucks is that this truck has a diesel and it does have a sunroof. But hey guys, again, thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. And like I said, you'll see more videos coming your way. Thank you.